uh, also there's a lot of mental and physical discipline that's involved in training for a marathon. So how do you really train both mentally and physically for a marathon? Well, physically it's easy. You know, the weak, our weakness is in the mind. Our weakness is not in the body. When we talk about even disease today, and the most diseases that affect us are lifestyle diseases. What does that mean? The most common diseases today are lifestyle diseases. It means these are diseases that we invite because of our mental indiscipline, because of the way we choose to live our lives. These are the diseases that we bring on to ourselves. So fitness starts in the mind. Running a marathon starts in the mind with saying that, yes, I want to do this, I can do this, and then when your mind is strong and your mind is disciplined, your body will follow you wherever you want to go. That's it. What's the most rewarding thing about running a marathon? Well, I, think, I think it's... Scientifically, of course, they say the endorphins and the serotonin and there are chemicals released in the brain and it makes you feel good. But there are a lot of life lessons that you learn. Uh, with endurance sport, you know, so it's not just uh, it's not just about running long distance. It's also cycling. It's you know anything that you do over long distances and you keep at it. It just teaches you that if you if you if you do something with interest and with sincerity and with passion, and you keep at it, you will always get where you want to go. There is no two ways about that. 